Hello everyone, Yak Samash. So this is the first real supplement video that I'm doing to the Wrench Reads series. Um, it's only barely relevant to the Diary of a Lonely Demon, only because we are still talking about the author of Diary of a Lonely Demon, John David. So the reason I'm kind of off topic with this, as I mentioned in the... Uh, in the Wrench Reads video is because of, of what we're going to be talking about here. Um, this kind of showed up in my news feed a couple of days ago, and it apparently showed up in John's news feed as well. Um, Gal Gado, and the, the, um, the link to the press release is in the description. Gal Gado, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is going to be the next Wonder Woman. Um, if you're familiar with this, if you're not familiar with this actress, she was in the Fast and the Furious movies um, quite popularly as well. Uh, got uh, there are some images of her in those movies in the press release as well. I, I think uh, if you're not familiar with her, Google her. But why is this relevant to the wrench reads? Well, specifically, it's relevant due to what appeared on John David's. Deviant art, in fact, in one of his journals. Um, now, Gal Gadot is a. I think she's an Israeli American. I, I, I'll have to. I'll leave a. I'll leave a link to her Wikipedia page because I, I didn't have my research together when I put this video together because it was off the cuff. Um, but she spent some time in the Israeli military. She's a fairly slight body frame. Um, but. Apparently, this pissed John off. This, I mean, like, really pissed John off. Not necessarily that she was in, is Israeli, but I'm going to read you the journal that he put out on DeviantArt and some of the comments that respond that were responded to him. And I'll address I'll address those um, when I'm done reading. Uh, so the, it's titled "This Is Wonder Woman." No period or question mark or exclamation point at the end just this is wonder woman um it links also to the press release no 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 this woman is all wrong for the part normally i would reserve judgment until i actually see the movie but she is 100 percent wrong for the role of the most iconic woman superhero of all time the thing that annoyed me most about the fifth uh, fast and furious movie is that scene which is in the link, where she, par where she parades around in a bikini. I'm sorry, am I supposed to find her hot just because of this? I see this scene and I think, eat a burger for crying out loud. Not only that, but they've gotten Wonder Woman, one of the biggest comic icons, in a supporting role, and not her own film. Not looking forward to this movie now. Oh. In a supporting role, and not her own I'm going to have to double check. Because I thought this, I thought they had actually cast Gal Gadot for her own movie, and if she is in a supporting role, she will be most likely in her own movie at some point in the near future. Um, but that was the that was the journal. Uh, I'll come back and address why, address why that just kind of rubs me the wrong way here in a second. Um, let's see. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to say their names, but these are some of the comments that showed up, and you'll see a pattern. I want an Amazon, no a mummy, damn. Jamie Alexander. Oh, so, um, uh, load more comments. My enthusiasm for this film has just hit rock bottom. Do you know how to save a drowning lawyer? No. Good. I was surprised that they picked her, but they have to train her ass and put her on a lot, a whole lot of protein shakes. She needs to eat a lot more than one burger. CrossFit, damn it. Uh, let's see. This one's particularly galling. Bitch ain't got no curves. None. Not even boobs. Watch hockey every day. It's good for you. The more you watch, the tougher you get. Yeah. 
Um, and finally, yeah, I can't say I'm really impressed with the casting choice either. Too skinny. Also, why can't she get her own movie? Electra got her own movie years ago. Why can't Wonder Woman? I'm, ugh. I'm more than certain that Wonder Woman will get her own movie, which I'm looking forward to. Anyway, as you can see, John's entire journal and his comment section is just is rife, and it it it's galling. It's terrible with body shaming. And, <sighs> Apparently. Someone who's too skinny or has no curves or no boobs, no boobs, can't be Wonder Woman. And that's absolutely ridiculous. Wonder Woman doesn't need boobs. The character is, a, is more well-developed than that. This Amazon doesn't need, a phys doesn't need to look necessarily pretty. You could cast the homeliest person in the world for this, and you'd probably get a decent, uh, a decent show. The point is you have a strong female lead character who knows the part. That's what's most important. And I think Gal Gadot will actually fit this particular role rather well. She was in the Israeli army for a couple of years, and don't tell me I'm the only one who is looking forward to Wonder Woman laying down some Krav Maga on some bad guys. I, I know I can't be the only one. Um, but they actually touched on this a little bit, and it, it's, well, the, huh, the reason I'm putting this video out is just to point out the mendacity of John and his idiocy. He's body shaming, as are his commenters. Uh, he's, I think he's hypocritical due to the fact that he, he's throwing a bitch fit about, um, uh, Pardon my French. He's throwing a bitch fit about where Gal Gadot was portrayed in the Fast and Furious movies, you know, in a, in a bikini. But he's not throwing a, a similar fit with male actors who do the same thing. It's, it's, it is the kind of the hallmark of John and his hypocrisy when it comes to this kind of thing. Um, but. I'm, the reason I wanted to make this video was to point out something that not everybody knows in Hollywood. When actors aren't necessarily just picked for the part, because, and then, then they go from one movie, just bounce from one movie to another without actually doing anything in between. Um, oh, the, the, other part of, the other part of why I made this video is because John made this ridiculous picture with Gal Gadot standing next to Morgala, Gal Gadot is this is this skinny little stick figure saying, and just it's it's stupid. It, I'll I'll link it, um, but I'll use a couple of examples as to what I mean for they don't just bounce between movies. Um, Jewel State, who played Kaylee in Firefly, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, before she played Kaylee, Kaylee Fry. She was similarly slimmed down. She was a very slight mo she was a very slight figure. Um, and if you watch the um, if you watch the making of Firefly, you actually hear Jewel State say this. When she was cast for this role, she had to put on weight. She had to put on forty pounds or or so. I'm not sure exactly the number. The but the point is to fill a role. Actors will kind of sculpt their bodies to fill that role more effectively. Um, I don't necessarily think that it was super necessary, but it, it helped the, the, the actors get more into the role. For instance, Jewel State played a fantastic Kaylee. I, I'm fairly certain there would, have been, there would have been no real difference had she not had those 40 pounds. Um, but she it fit the setting, and it fit the the plot fairly well um kind of just uh, maybe i'm over i think i'm over analyzing it but an, an example of this on the the male side and a little bit more of to an extreme my absolute favorite actor uh in the kind of the horror subculture is bruce campbell he's one of my favorite actors but when he got into the role of sam axe 
for Burn Notice. Another, it's a fantastic TV series if you've never uh, actually seen it. When he got into the character of Sam X, he had to gain a lot of weight. He gained some muscle as well. So this, char- this, this actor who was relatively fit to begin with had to gain not only weight, but muscle to step into the role of an ex-Navy SEAL. Sam, uh, Sam X, I think it's a Navy SEAL. So it's, it's ridiculous and it's hypocritical to throw a fit about an actress not being, you know, busty enough or curvy enough or, or bulky enough to play a role when you're talking about a movie that hasn't even been released yet. I mean, we're, this is, this was just, this press release was brand new. And due to the fact that it's, due to the fact that it's just a brand new press release, I have a feeling that Gal Gadot is going to be trying to work on her form, work on the the the, the weight and the musculature of her body to kind of fit the, the Amazon role a little bit better. So, but then of course John kind of, he says this, he says, oh, she's too skinny, and then goes on to say, well, she should be a certain way. She should be a little bit different. But I say, no, you don't. You don't need to do that. Chances are she will. But uh, this character would have, Gal Gadot would have been fine for the role no matter what. And so, okay, so that's it. I just wanted to point out John's mendacity. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later. Nazdravia. Nazlarano. Peace.